Welcome back to the Daily Grind. So today I'm going to be fertilizing my radish plants here. These are all radish, different kinds. If you haven't been following along and this is the first time you've seen a video. This bed, I decided to plant daikon radishes, two types. French breakfast radish, the little ball, cherry bell ones. And like a white globe, I think it's called. Also, cherry bell. You do need to fertilize them. I mean, I guess you don't, you don't really have to, but it is beneficial. But you don't want anything high nitrogen because that's going to force it to grow some green veg rather than the bulb underneath and and what you're harvesting is a bulb the idea is to put a lot of phosphorus phosphorus is very good for developing root growth and so they're about at the age where i feel like i want to start giving them fertilizer not super high nutrient soil so they will benefit from a little bit so i'm going to mix two things i'm going to mix this fox farm Happy Frog, which is a 573. So it's that's nitrogen. That's how that works. That's nitrogen, this is phosphorus, this is uh, potassium. I'm also gonna add to really boost the phosphorus, bone meal. Bone meal is 010, so it's all phosphorus. Really simple stuff, all organic stuff. It doesn't matter, you don't have to do organic if you don't want. Stuff does smell pretty bad, I will admit. But anyway, I'm just grabbing a little handful. I'm not gonna be putting a lot. I don't I don't need a whole lot of this stuff. I'm just gonna put it in between the rows. Like so. Now again, that's not very much. That's that's a very small amount. But I'm doing that on purpose. I don't want a whole lot. We don't wanna overdo it. They are young. I'm gonna do the same thing with the bone meal. Alright, and then you just come in and scratch it into the soil. And if you look, I'm doing it right in between the rows. So that way it's not right on top of them. And so how organic fertilizer works, it's actually not ready for the plants to eat. It has to be broken down by the soil biome. So all the little micro organisms in here start breaking it down, molds and whatnot, and make it available for the plants. It takes a while for that to break down. So it adds nutrients over time so it's a really good way to fertilize doesn't mean you have to go this route and there are some slow release fertilizers that are probably a little less expensive that aren't organic and that's fine it'll work the same but i like the fact that it's slow release now you could use like a liquid fertilizer they make organic and non-organic liquid fertilizers common one is miracle grow i'm sure everyone's heard of that and those work great um, but it's like a solid, a single dose, and it's really quick. Gives them a boost right in the beginning, but it doesn't give them slow drip over time of, of nutrients, if that makes sense. It is October 27th, and in a couple days, I'll come back and I'll video and I'll show you guys. You, you'll be able to notice a major difference in growth. Now, these do grow fast, but they've been sprouted for about a week, week and a half already. I mean, again, they're, they grow fast. I've already got some of these two pairs of true leaves you'll see an explosive growth and and again we're not necessarily looking for the tops but there will be some growth in the top what we're going to see is a major growth in the the roots below so let's go ahead and pull one of these up they are a little bit tight in here and you'll see the size of whoop, i popped one off there is that's it that is the root there is no bulb going okay so i'm going to bring you guys back in a couple days and you'll be able to see that you'll start seeing a little bit of a bulb popping up on those all right so it is october 31st and i'm not sure we are going to see any root growth it has been cold and rainy in fact i even had to cover my tomato plants here because it is down to 35 degrees so they might have been a little slower at growing let's see if we can pull up some that are a little bit too close together see oh yeah no we've got some root growth guys so that's pretty cool it's starting to bulb up a little bit i mean they're not full it's just four or five days since i added that so that does work and i mean we're seeing a lot more green growth as well now these are fast growing and you could attribute it to just the fact that they grow quickly but that was really quick so i'm going to thin some of these out because they are starting to grow thick and we'll come back in a little bit 
actually on the day of harvest and see just how big these get and how fast. We'll probably come through and harvest all these. These are a 23 or 24 day and that's why I just pulled up here and they are I think going on day 16 right now so we don't have much longer. They should all bulb up pretty well. It's November 8th. I am going to be harvesting my French breakfast radishes right here. Now I am going to leave a couple in the ground and let them get even larger. They'll get a little spicier, but I might leave them for a day or two and see the difference in size. Um, this one looks small. This one looks like a good size. Look at that. There we go. That's about a normal French breakfast radish. So I left 15 in this row that I can harvest in the next couple days and they grow pretty quick once they start bulging. Well, it is November 10th. Going to be harvesting the rest of these French breakfast radishes. Wow, one got nice and fat. There we go. Some good French breakfast radishes. Two days later, and you can see the size difference. I mean, they grow so fast. If I would have let them go one more day, they probably would have gotten too big and too spicy. And then this gets a little woody and hard to eat. So the bell, let's see how they are doing. Ooh. I got a good one right there. Wow, check that out. All right. So I think some of these are gonna be ready to harvest. I'm gonna wait. They say they're 28 days, is 25 days since planting. So I'm gonna wait a couple more days and see if these really bulb up really well, but we'll add that to the mix. All right, so it is November 12th. Really, almost every day I come out here and I look and these look even more grown. So this will be the final section to this video. Fertilization really helped. I mean, I can't even see in between these rows anymore where I was fertilizing. The vegetation has grown tremendously. In fact, I need to thin these out and I might do that on camera today because these daikon radishes need a lot of room to grow. But I am going to harvest a couple of these cherry bell radishes. There we go. That one's not bad. It's still small and we're actually only on the 27th day, somewhere around there. And these are supposed to be 28 day and I'm gonna let them go to 30 I think because they're not quite super big I'm I'm hoping to get them around there for better harvest but we are gonna harvest a couple here oh there's a good one I mean they're not huge I'm gonna wait for them to get a little bigger here but they some of these are getting kind of scrunched together so let's see there's two in a row yeah there's not much bold there and then this row looks pretty good. There, there's enough space there. These white globes are really close together and they get big. So I'm gonna harvest some of those, but not necessarily to eat. I'm gonna give them to my, my birds because I just need to thin them out. That one's starting to form a little bit of something there. So pretty soon, I think, might start getting those. So as you can see, these are pretty close together. So every other one I'm gonna pull up. Let's see how they look though. I was expecting these to be much longer, so that's interesting. Maybe it just takes a while for them to, you can see the greens on these are getting big, so. Oh, there we go. Well, that's a long one. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what's up with those first two. So interesting with these radishes, how, how different from the seed packet one or two could be. It's from the same seed packet, growing in the same bed, same conditions. Quite amazing, look at that one. Before anything, I'm gonna take these over to the chickens. You see, so even though there's, I had to pick a lot of these, there's still a use is my chickens are gonna eat them. And they just love radish greens. I don't know what it is. Well, it's been a rainy couple days here. So it's so interesting. If you look, this one's short, and this one's super long. So I don't know what that's about. So yeah, just amazing explosive growth just by adding a little bit of fertilizer. And I mean, it's hard to say whether or not this would happen with or without that fertilizer, but I guarantee you there is some benefit to it. There's the end of the experiment with the fer fertilization. I think it didn't necessarily hinder any kind of 
uh, growth with the bulb, but it definitely added a lot of green growth. In fact, take a look at these here. Take a look at those. And that's a French breakfast radish. And I harvested some French breakfast radishes and these were planted only a week after. They look real small, comparably, to what these looked like about a week and a half to two weeks ago. So I definitely think this helped. So I'm gonna bring you guys back on another video in a couple of days when I harvest these cherry bells here. And then of course I'll bring you back for the daikons and the white globes. Uh, those are much later though, so that takes a little bit probably another month from now before I can harvest those or those. But I should be able to harvest these baby bells pretty soon. Also, check out another video of mine which should come up soon, but I planted some onions in between each of these rows. So I'll have that video come out in a couple days and probably a couple days after the harvesting of all these different radishes. Thanks for watching. My experiment with adding fertilizer, I definitely think it was a success and I think I'm gonna do that from now on. Definitely saw some immediate growth with it and they're continuing to just explosively grow. So definitely gonna do that. Thanks for coming along, everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit the bell notification for future video updates. Also hit that like button so the YouTube algorithm suggests these to other people. Definitely would help out the channel and I appreciate you for that. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.